Hey, welcome to a rainy day video. Anyway, I'm going to suffer through this for you. Um, you probably know this slingshot. I call it the compass and it's a really good slingshot. It's very heavy though. It weighs about 600 grams because it's solid steel. So I decided to work on the design and change it a little bit. Um, I wanted to make it more lightweight. So first thing I did is I used uh, steel tubes, 60 millimeter. Let me show you the lighter version. Okay, so this is the lighter version. As you see, those are really tubes. Um, and it weighs about 340 grams complete with bands. I used a new band attachment method just underneath the tubes. I just welded a piece of metal to it and it's been shot over the top. That suit, 19 millimeter lead. These are three stripes of Thiraban gold. So it's a very strong slingshot, but as strong as can be. Okay, but I further wanted to reduce the weight. So what I did is I used carbon fiber instead of steel. Okay, so this slingshot is 100% made out of carbon fiber. There's no metal involved. And what I did is I used carbon fiber boards. Actually, it goes up into the tubes a little bit here so that it holds without glue. The glue is really only for to prevent the shifting of the materials. So um, there is a, a heart also made out of the six, uh, five millimeter board here. Attachment method and design is exactly the same as on the previous one. It's very solid, but it weigh, only weighs 60 grams. So uh, that's about 20% of the metal slingshot. As you see, it's fully intact. That's a very nice slingshot and it, it's so light, it's really super light. It's probably the lightest slingshot, full-size slingshot I've ever made. The target of the day, the pineapple that's no longer good. I guess it wasn't sweet enough. But anyway, we'll try if we can penetrate it and also we'll use the bone crusher ammo for it. But first, a normal round. Okay, that was easy enough, but now we're going to use the bone crushers. So. Well, the lead balls really penetrated and flew right through, but the bone crusher, look what it did. It actually tore it in half. Can you see? Really deserves its name, I think. At least it's the pineapple crusher. That's for sure. So I wanted to show you the blueprint that I drew before I made the slingshot. And you can see this is the board that sits inside of the tubes. And it's glued in, of course, but it holds just because it's been pushed inside of them. And that's the attachment. Okay, I guess that was it. Thanks guys, bye bye.